Hello everybody, it's Spectacular the Silver Stacular. Once again, I am going to a coin show. This time, I'm traveling to one that's in Citrus County, Florida. I uh, haven't really even been to Citrus County before, so it's gonna be a new area for me. Um, as I'm driving here, I'm seeing uh, some bear crossing signs <laughs> and a lot of nothing and a lot of woods. I'm not sure why there's even a traffic light right here, but uh, you know, it's a very interesting area. If I see a bear, I'm probably not gonna go to the coin show. I'm probably just gonna film the bear the whole time because never seen a bear in person. Uh, but anyways, going to the coin show and I want you all to come with me. Um, I have a list of coins that I am looking for. So do me a favor real quick, take a second, pause this video and look over this, this list of coins that I'm looking for at the coin show. And just leave me a comment real quick and let me know what set you think these coins are from. And uh, after the video, we'll see if you're correct. Anyways, I'll see you soon once I'm inside of the Citrus County Coin Show. All right, so I'm in the Coin Show. I'm here with Dave at the front desk. Dave, what do people do when they come in? Well, basically, you sign in. We ask you uh, your name, address, uh, your email, how you found out about us. If you're interested in joining the club, um, we also have some uh, tickets for uh, door prizes, which are free. And we have some really nice door prizes this year. A lot of times, it's uh, donated coins and things that people would collect. And I think we call it out every hour. So we have five or six some really nice. Uh, our prizes, we have some stamps for kids. Uh, of course, during this time of the year, we have free COVID masks. So if somebody comes in without a mask, because you do require a mask right. at the show, they can have the mask that you give them. Right, right. Okay, cool. And, uh, you know, we meet uh, the third Tuesday of every month, so we've got some information on that. And we're a new club and we're growing. Well, thank you very much. Hey, you're welcome. Yeah. You guys don't mind if I uh, look at your stuff here? on this. On what? On my phone. You have a calculator on your phone? I couldn't find it before he found it and brought it to the front. It's the one that says calculator on it? Well, there. It wasn't there before. <laughs> what was it in like your little uh, app file or something? Hidden. Yeah. Oh. Get some nice quarters here, guy. Thank you. That was the set we just picked up. Picked up another set, huh? Yeah. Your machine. Three good collections in three months. It's just a whirlwind. I still haven't finished, uh, I'm still working on the other set. 90% silver at 17 times face. Mm -hmm. That sounds like uh, you're, it's too good of a deal to be true. Spot and a dime. Spot and a dime. Cash and carry. Only at the coin show. At the coin show special. People gotta come here, man. Think we'll get a good turnout today? I hope so. This is the first show I'm at this year. I didn't get all dressed up for nothing. Hey, you look great. Thank can, you. can I show you off? Sure. I'll show you off real quick. I'm trying to keep faces out here. Here I am. <laughs> okay. I got a lot of CCs. Show me the CCs. All of this. All the whole thing I is CCs. I had a deal to buy all the, uh, all the GSA ones. I saw that. I was going to get one of those. He grabbed all of them <sighs> and he grabbed the, uh, he grabbed the O. The O three O. Does that happen a decent amount at the the show? Like before things get set up, like yeah. you go from this Most table. Yeah, most of the sales are usually do. I've spent four thousand already. Already, yeah. please. So you guys kind of like do some wheeling and dealing back and forth before the yeah. show even starts. Yeah. Okay. I bought one hundred and ten silver dollars. Wow. You're short on something, and well, I'm not short on dollars. I got a thousand of them. Well, not anymore. Check all web. We're gonna have. Uh, we're gonna put those up tomorrow. We got. We're sitting on three or four hundred. Piece of more than yeah, I've been meaning to ask you're gonna get involved in that uh, World War II coin coming out on uh, November the 5th. I don't tend to from the U.S. Mint, you don't mess yeah, around. I don't usually wait, yeah. I don't, I don't go for the modern stuff, it's it's so manipulated, it's what aggravates me, yeah, for sure. Well, people try to pre sell it on eBay, it drives a lot of interest like that. People think that they're worth more than they are. But they're going for a good amount. You might want to try to try to you know get, grab one for the shop. Gold bar. Where's this gold bar? Spot oh. and forty cents. Spot and forty cents for a gold. Eighteen eighty. You're giving this stuff away, man. I'm just looking to move it. Wow. 
Like these old 19 dollar uh, Morgans here too. Cold, nineteen dollars. Even a cold man, that's a cool piece of history right there. Very cool. Nineteen dollars. Take them all for eighteen. All for eighteen. Twenty one. Take them all for twenty. Very cool. These are just impolished, but they make nice gifts. I mean, they're pretty. I mean, they still are a coin. Still silver. Yeah. Still silver. There's, I mean, there is 1820 in silver in these. Yep. That's the melt. Get people interested in sell those if you buy them all below silver. All right. Well, I'm not rich. I gotta, I gotta move them. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guy. We dance goes real quick. I bought 25 dance goes. I got wrapped brand new. The ones you can't find. You never find those anymore. I got a price them, but basically, I don't even know. Where'd you get this gigantic sign at? I had that. I've had that. Had that. Okay. It's a nice looking sign. Yeah. So this you got everything. Where, this is where I bring it when this is my first time here. Very cool. Thank you. Well, actually, I guess it's everybody's first time. Well, I've this never. Is their first time. I've never been here before either. I got lost coming here. Did you hear about that? So did we. We drove right by it. Yeah, I went 10 miles out of my way. Or sorry, not 10 miles. I went 10 minutes out of my way trying to get here. Before my uh, my GPS said, hey, let's do a U-turn. Yeah, you went the wrong way, buddy. You got baseball cards. Are these legit? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think they're legit. Donald Trump. I don't think he played for, <laughs> for New York. That's funny. So this is the Trump table right here. Let's see what we got. Now, these ones good? They were good to collect? Yep. Man, they're old, huh? Those are pretty. I'm not much of a stamp collector yet, but I think I might be getting that itch. How about that? What is this one? Let's put it here. Now, what is this right here? Certificate revenue, state special tax for bars. So what would they do? You gotta pay a tax to have it in a liquor store. Oh, okay. All right. Very cool. Something like that. <laughs> Florida hurricane. What is this? Victoria, the Florida hurricane. Can I open this up? Yep. Nineteen twenty-six. Wow. So I don't know what you. You can take a look at it. Wild, huh? See if you yeah. like one picture over another. Pictorial history. I don't wanna, it's an old book. That happens in Florida, huh? We get the hurricanes. That's Florida. Florida. We, we've been avoiding them this year for the most Sandy, part. Yeah. Louisiana, though. Jeez. Yeah. We've been getting hammered. I'll give you a better deal if you want on the postage. I what even kind? got strips. Fifty uh, percent. That's cool stuff there. That is cool. This is cool too. What is, what is this right here? Those are them, only it's a belt from World War II. World War II belt, wow. Very cool. So we got the uh, 75th anniversary coming up, don't we? Yes. Yes, they do. All right, so I'm here with a fan of the show. And what'd you pick up? Tell me what you got. I got this gold Indian head, pre-33 gold. Um, it was a great price, uh, it's 900 bucks. I couldn't pass up on it, you know, cash money. So uh, I just jumped on it. It is super nice. Now you, you don't have one of these in your collection. I do not, I do not. So you finally got it, huh? Yeah, well, yeah good for I you. Drove, drove an hour and 45 minutes out here and uh, I struck gold. <laughs> you struck gold, <laughs> you did man. It's a beauty. Yeah, thank you, thank you. That's, that would look good in anybody's collection right there. Yeah, and it was good. It was my first time seeing the coin guy and yourself. So, uh, 
I mean, you kind of, you know, I saw some of your videos from the past, recent past, and uh, decided to come out here today. So you never seen Coin Guy before either? Never been to a show? Not in person. Okay. Not in person. Looks the same. Pretty yeah, much. yeah, he does. I look the same in person too, don't I? <laughs> yes, I've only seen him like, <laughs> once, maybe. Right on. All right, well, thank you very much for showing me that. Congratulations. That's hey, good. Hey, thank you, man. And, uh, it's a, and I bought junk silver, and, uh, and it's been a great time. A lot of junk silver? Um, $20 face. Very good. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Hey, thank you so much. What do you got here? That is a very small piece of silver that they melted down to make these coins. Uh, the Franklin Mint did this many years ago, and um, they used to advertise these. Uh, this has got one with the original mailing box. Wow. Uh, and so that little piece of silver has been to the moon. Been to the moon and back. And back. Very cool. That's crazy. Yep. On Apollo, what, 14? Take a nice video of the food that I'm going to have. And my aqua, oh no, what is this? It's Ever Hills. Whew. Hot dog split right down the middle. I'm right here. I didn't leave you. You can photograph me, I don't care. Yeah? Take the clothes off then. Go ahead. <laughs> we'll see if he's a man of his word, yeah? Yeah. We'll put his uh, word to the test there. It's crazy right now. It's crazy. We sold, we sold the piece dollar. Oh, okay. Went up in that other one. Oh, okay. What'd you sell it for? So, what's the price on this 100 ounce today? Well, it came down a little bit. Twenty-four seventy-five. Twenty-four seventy-five. Still a great deal. She always got the cool stuff here, the foreign stuff. I sold a lot of nice coins a week ago at Jacksonville. Oh, there was a, a show there too? Yeah, yeah you, you will have a blast if you saw the stuff I had there. All right, so I'm here with a fan of the show. Your name is? Saltwater Saddle Fan. Say that three times fast if you can. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What'd you get today? Uh, I bought a couple of coins off a of coin guy for my uh, typeset album. I uh, bought a really nice 20 cent piece. 
and the last half dime I need for my book, the uh, Cedar Liberty with the Arrows. Very cool. Now, I noticed that the uh, the 20 cent pieces are hard to find. A lot of people don't have those. Yeah, they are. And they also seem to be fairly weakly struck. And this one is a nice one. Can I can I grab one? Oh, sure. Pretty cool. Though. Oh, it's so cool. What a weird, weird number. And then the that coin's got real nice detail, especially on the on the uh, reverse. Yeah, it's pretty right there too. Let's see the reverse. Yeah. Oh yeah. So many of them are so weakly struck, and that's a nice one right there. Right on. And you got it from the coin guy. So that'll look good in my book. Oh yeah. So you're working on the the dance goes seventy seventy. Yeah, I've got it uh, probably a little over half full. Half full. Very cool. Well, good luck on the book, man. Thank you. It's, a, it's it. an awesome book to finish. Yeah, it will be. And good to meet you too. Yeah. Thanks. The lighting that you have with your display, kind of like in a dark room, makes it so much better to see. Well, you know how I set this up at home? Huh? I set it up in a dark room. Do you? Completely dark. And with these, so that to see how it, to make sure it would be light. Yeah. And if there are any extra lights, good. Yep. When you put it at an angle like this, the glass, and then you don't have those big lights overhead over top, man, it looks great. And not to mention, it's a good protection for my sneeze. <laughs> if you get a sneeze, it protects it. So I got these masks on these days, man. I just sneeze right into the mask and I feel so disgusting doing it. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess that's what you're supposed to do. You do something, you spit, you and then you spit and forget you had the mask. You forgot you had the mask, you spit into the mask? Yeah. That's terrible for the people that have to dip. Yeah, that would be a problem. All right, very cool. What's this big old ring right here you got? It's a replica of a... Montreal Canadian Stanley Cup ring. So it's a replica. Okay. Is it still like got any medals in it? Like this? Mm, no. It's Patrick Waugh. Very cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 2021, they got one coin coming out. Right, Alabama. And then, of course, the BW also. You got a really nice setup here. What do you specialize in? Everything? Uh, mostly U.S. commemorative trade dollars. A lot of Canadian. Oh man, some nice ones right here. How do the Canadians do at the uh, the show? Is pretty good. The Canadian coins. Pardon me. Do the Canadian sh uh, coins do pretty well? Uh, not down here. They do it in Maine. Maine? Really? A little bit closer, I guess. So you travel down? I snowbird, yeah. Oh, okay. See, I think Florida's a good place to be right now. What would the weather in Maine be like right now? Uh, frost warning on the golf course. Yeah. <laughs> they won't open until 10. Oh, man. <laughs> that was this morning. Some really nice commemoratives. Cool. Trade dollars. I really got to get rid of some of these uh, wheat suits. You want to get rid of them? I got to I got to get I got to sell them. I got tons of them. BDBs, I got a half a box of them. Seriously? Yeah. 
Wow. Everybody's got one. I have one. Yeah, you know, and uh, <laughs> I've got them graded from about an F to an unk. I used to put out a sign. I used to put out a sign, upgrade your VDB. I think I sold two. I've been doing that for a couple of years. I stopped putting the sign up. Hopefully you move some today. Yeah, maybe. Do you run a shop too? I do not. So it's just at the shows whenever you go to the show? Yeah, I usually do three, four shows a month. I usually do Maitland, Orlando. Uh, next, that, that, usually Maitland is the first Sunday. Then Melbourne is the second Sunday. Fort Lauderdale is the third Sunday. Gotcha. What are these uh, things right here? What are these? Those are some case postage. Back during the war, they didn't have coins, so they put a postage stamp on a disc, and they could take that to the grocery store and use it. Really? Yeah, just like money. Anybody could use those? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is from like the 40s, I think it was. 30s. The 1930s. And this is what the blank one looks like, and they just adhere it to it. This, one, this one's from France. These are from Spain. Those are fantastic. Just something different. Yeah. And these are porcelain coins. They're not made out of metal. They're made out of porcelain. One's like two. And why'd they do that? Just different material. Cheaper, huh? Might have been. Very cool. Thank you. Uh -huh. Trying to spread the knowledge, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get pretty good footage last week? Uh, I think we're up to uh, like 12,000 views on, on that one. So it's not, not too bad. No, not really for a week. I mean, yeah, and for, you know, like on YouTube, like coins are not the biggest, you know, thing on there. Yeah. These people doing pranks at the beach. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh. You do the dumbest out there, you know, people hurt yeah, themselves. Yeah, that's, that's that stuff. Absolutely. I seen a guy the other day, I was at the park with the kids. And he gets out of the car, just at, in the middle, right? Everybody stop behind him. Gets out of the car, goes out into the grass. And he has his, his camera. And he's like, oh, look, there's a, there's a turtle. There's a turtle going in his hole. And he's like yelling and screaming and stuff. He's so excited. That guy will get way more views than me. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Go figure, right? He's not spreading any kind of knowledge whatsoever. No. It's just, you know, he's out there having fun. But that's what people want. <laughs> All right, so I'm back from the coin show. And uh, good news. See all these little cross-out marks here on these numbers? Uh, I was able to finish this set. And I'm going to show that off here. And also, everything else I got during my visit to the coin show. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I uh, enjoyed that hot dog that you've seen in the video. It was pretty tasty and much needed. Um, probably could use a little bit more coffee. It was early. Uh, we had to fall back when it came to the time change, which kind of messed me up a little bit and probably a lot of other people. But, uh, you know, I survived it and back. So, you know, no bears. Didn't find any bears on the way back. So you didn't see that in the video. Uh, but that would have been a lot of fun. Anyways, so I uh, picked up a couple one ounce pieces of silver. So here's just really, you know, just a basic silver bar, but kind of cool. I like the artwork on it and uh, kind of a plain back right there. And uh, this really cool, whoa, almost dropped it. This really cool Johnson Matthew from 1986. And this is their Freedom, the American Way. So just kind of a neat little, little piece right there. I think I got these for just, uh, I think it was like a buck over spot. Uh, so not too bad. Um, these right here, I thought this was so cool. Uh, nine millimeter ammunition. And this is from 1963. And I just thought it was neat. Uh, and it was funny because the person that sold these to me, he goes, hey, you're going to like shooting these. It's, gonna, it's really powerful. And I'm like, I'm not shooting these. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to collect it because it's from 1963. Uh, I thought it was neat. So I got a little, little box of ammo just for fun, just to collect. Um, some of the other boxes were opened up and you could have seen the ammo. This one has still got the uh, staples in it, so I'm just going to leave it be. Uh, we're not going to see that here. But uh, there was some some little Trump pins that I found there for a couple bucks. And I thought these were kind of kind of funny. So got those with little, little ammo Trump pins. Those are fun. Um, got myself a $100 face value of half dollars. So that was quite a purchase. I thought um, this was one of those ones where I thought I was done for the day. And then as I'm walking out, I see them. I'm like, oh, geez, okay. Uh, go ahead and get more half dollars for the collection. So um, I'll probably end up going through those off the video just to see if there's something special in there. I don't believe there would be, but 
regardless, you know, it's a great way to stack is getting into constitutional. And I believe uh, that, you know, 90% is the best way to stack. Um, there's other great ways to, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that, you know, other ways are bad. I'm just in my personal opinion, 90% is the way to go. Um, since I got those, I got a lot of these little tubes right here. So, uh, yeah, I got several of those. And, um, so now let's get back into the, the list here. I was able to fill this list and this is what I got. I got a, a 1922s peace dollar. So there it is. I got myself, and uh, let's just say no particular order. That way it's just easier. A 1934S peace dollar. Very cool. A 1926 peace dollar. Still got some luster on that one too, doesn't A little cartwheel going on. I like that. All right, so. And then a 1927D. There you go. If you see any price tags on any of this stuff, don't pay too much attention to the price tags. Uh, one of the fun parts for me uh, when you go to the coin shows or coin shop is, you know, you haggle a little bit. You see the price in the book and then you work off of that. So uh, the price on here is definitely not the price paid uh, anytime, anytime for sure. So 1927. So what do we got? 1927D, 1927P, 1934S. 25s, 22s, and then a 26. And the reason why those were so important to me is because I am now able to fill my peace dollar set and complete it. So you're going to see that. And this is what I have right here so far. And I was missing six coins. And I figured if I go to this coin show today, I should be able to fill this set, those six missing coins. So through the magic of YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and take a small little break fill this coin set in and uh, you're gonna see it completed. All right, so here we go. I have filled this book up. The Peace Dollar collection is complete. And uh, yeah, it's not too bad. You know, there's some in here that I could definitely replace. I could make it to where some of these grades are a little bit better, but I'm pretty darn happy with being able to complete the set. Um, even if they were all really low grade, I'd be happy with that. Uh, they're not, there's some really decent ones in here for sure. I uh, remember that 1928, um, if you remember the video where I started this set, was actually in really, really good shape. And you can see the, the luster on that bad girl. Uh, very nice set. Boom goes the dynamite. We have finished that set. And uh, proud of it, man. Just another set complete. So um, I don't know what to do next. Any suggestions? What do you think? Uh, what, what should I do? Uh, maybe maybe Franklin Half Dollar set. That's That'd be something easy enough to collect and, and to get through. Uh, let me know if you were actually correct on your guess of what these coins were. Had a lot of fun at the show. I met some people that were actually fans, so we stood around and talked for a little bit, and they showed me what they ended up getting at the show, and I showed them my stuff. And, you know, we talked about the hobby, and, you know, that was fun. It uh, Coin shows are a neat way to bring people together. Uh, you hear a lot of stories, and you get some history lessons while you're there. Um, definitely, definitely check out a, a coin show if you have one in your area. If you got to make a little bit of a drive, I mean... Go see one. But anyways, I had a fun, fun time. If you like these coin show videos that I do, uh, definitely, you know, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't. That way uh, I know that you want to see more. You know, if you're commenting, subscribing, and thumbs upping, I know that you enjoy these videos and you're ready for more of them when more happens. And I'm in Florida. Um, I have coin shows that happen all around me. So I don't have a problem going and filming, but I have to know that you like them. Uh, anyways, I got to go for now. Hope you enjoyed. I know I enjoyed. I had a lot of fun. Uh, let me know what you think about my pickups. Let me know if you got that list correct. I'm very curious. Spectacular is out. <laughs>